So today we're going to go over how to replace a Minn Kota maximum head on this one. The screws came loose and the cables popped off and everything ended up breaking right off. So we're going to go step by step on how to remove the head, how to take the cables off, how to redo the wiring, and stick a new head back on. So like I was saying, this one's all broke. The head popped right off. We're going to start by taking out the four Phillips screws. There's one here in the back of the head, one up here, one here in the front, and then one right here in the bottom. So now that all four of those screws are out, we can grab the top and just pull it off and set this piece aside somewhere. Now you're going to have a whole bunch of wiring coming in the front and then it loops around and it goes down. You're going to have a light connection and then this is for your steering indicator here there should be a little gear right here that goes between your cables and your steering indicator so I see that that is missing we'll see if we can find that if not it's not a big deal the new kit should come with one you're gonna wanna use a knife of some sort and all of these connections are sealed so you've gotta cut out these connections in order to disconnect them. They're just male and female connectors. The one for the light is not sealed. And then this one also has the built-in trolling motor transducer so we'll have to unhook that too. So now all of my wires are disconnected Here's all the wires coming out of the trolling motor, including the transducer. So next, I'm going to undo this Allen screw here and pull out the turn indicator and the light. Now you want to make sure all your gears are on here and this one seems to be fine. So now we've got the turn indicator off. We want to take this little wire clamp out and then we're going to take out these four screws. Now with those four screws removed, that gives us some play with the foot pedal. You can go ahead and unwrap your steering cables. The steering cables are disconnected. They wrap around 
and then they have a little groove that they sit in. So you unwrap it and then you can slide it up and out of this hole. Now after you get your steering cables undone, if you uh, don't forget to undo one of your wires like I did, your head should possibly still be mounted, the lower end of it. This one was completely broke all the way around, so after that, the bottom piece of the head just fell right off. But if it don't fall off, you should have to undo one, two, three of these screws that'll hold the neck on. So I'm gonna undo these screws just so I can get these plastic pieces out, and we're gonna need these screws to stick the new head back on. So here's the new lower piece. You want to feed all of your wires through the neck hole. And then you can just slide it up over top of the shaft. Get your holes lined up, get your screws put in. So my screws are in the bottom of the head. Next step, we're going to get this wired back in. Sticks it. Stick it this way in from the head. It's got a slot in right here that slides over the end. Just like that. And then we'll get the four screws in. So now those are hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the steering cables and then install the wire holder right here. So with the steering cables, the one on the right side goes around the top groove and the one on the left side goes around the bottom groove. You can do this easier without these hooked up. If you hook them up early, you can take this black piece right here and slide it off and then hook them up and slide the black piece back on. And that's the same if you're going to adjust your foot pedal for your steering. If you want it to aim straight with your foot pedal um, level, you'll put your foot pedal level, deploy the trolling motor down, and then set this into place. So we'll put the cover back on, put the four screws back in the bottom, and then line up the steering indicator, and it's done.